Uh, just focus on that. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about some rubber. Now, if only I had some distance. R rubber, you say? Oh, hello. Hello. Hello! Welcome back to What's a Safe Word. I'm Amp. And I'm Brandon. And this is my rubber freak. Ooh. Yes, very nice. I love him. Props. <laughs> <laughs> and today we're gonna talk about, if you haven't already guessed, rubber. Now you guys look super shiny and fresh and nice. Does rubber come just straight out of the box like that? Rubber freak? So it doesn't. I actually pulled something from Mr. S. Leather on their sales floor. So this piece itself, it's not lubed up at all. It's kind of like uh, dingy. What products do you recommend to use for rubber when you're first getting it? These are the plethora of products that Mr. S. Leather sells. Uh, sure. So you have Black Beauty, Vivashine, dry silicone that you could spray on, and then silicone lube, which I put on myself as well as my rubber gimp. Is there one product you prefer over another? Are some of these more for going out versus storing? Personally, there's always like personal preference on what specifically someone wants. Mm -hmm. I like Black Beauty. My rubber freak prefers uh, Vivashine, um, but they all have different application processes. You would take it like this after a, you buy it, then you would wear it, then you would uh, lube it up. Mm -hmm. But then after you get it off, then you're going to wash it in blue dish Dawn soap. You don't want to use antibacterial soap on it. On rubber, it actually eats away at the rubber. Oh. So once you wash it off, you could either hang it on a hanger and then you could use Black Beauty. Black Beauty is going to basically polish it as well as condition the rubber. Okay. Because if you don't condition the rubber, it can crack. Vivashine, after you wash it in with blue dish Dawn soap, you could put some Vivashine in a bucket of water and this is going to shine it for you as you dip it into the water. Okay. So it's actually going to do it for you, then you just hang it dry and it's already looped. If you're like at a leather event, this is probably the best one on the market. Um, a lot of leathermen don't necessarily like hugging rubbermen. The silicone lube to transfer onto their leather. Mm -hmm. So this one is the one that Mr. S Leather generally recommends for uh, leather events. It basically just sprays on it and it's less conductive when you're hugging someone. Or you could do the most uh, slippery version. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just easily, just with everything we're ready to go. <laughs> sure, but, it's a nice, yeah. quick, easy. Yeah. I'm always good for easy. Quick oh. and easy. <laughs> 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 also, as like to keeping it shiny. Mm -hmm. No one likes it, double rubber mat. No, no, of course not. What are the basic do's, don'ts, and kind of care rituals that go around with the rubber? Generally, when you're washing it, you definitely don't want to put like scalding hot water onto it. Okay. Lukewarm water, that's generally what I recommend. I call it a rubber soup <laughs> when I'm doing oh. it. <laughs> I'll have the number one, a rubber soup, please. And then after it's clean, you would like hang it up. Like if you lie it on something, you could get kind of like color transfer or... Oh. You could do that. So like, color transfers is when different colored latexes touch each other? Yes. And they kind of bond in a way? Unfortunately, yes. Sure. Um, so I have a white uh, jock strap uh, vest and socks, and I was uh, I had unfortunately some color transfer on that. But you can oh, get it no. out. But that just, it takes a lot of time. You could probably do it with some Black Beauty, that's what I recommend. Okay. I sprayed the garment itself, and then you take a sponge, like the soft side of the sponge, not the abrasive portion, mm -hmm. and then you spray, and then you do it in a circular motion. You have to make sure that it doesn't get uh, dry when you're doing that, because you don't want to scratch the, the rubber. Sure. What about storing it afterwards? Yeah, storing it, I gen I have an own section of my closet that's just dedicated to rubber. I will hang it up on just like these type of hangers. So plastic hangers are great. Also, I know that light and sunlight is bad for rubber long term, so you want to store it somewhere dark yeah. and dry. So yeah. like after it's been moisturized or lubricated. Moisturize me. Moisturize me. Always, always dark and dry places. Yes. Which is how I describe my asshole. Oh, <laughs> mine's uh, converting a desert to a tropical oasis. Your asshole? Yeah. Oh, oh. Ideally. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you use? Um, a lot of JLU. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you guys again for the quick 101 little lesson for rubber. Now, I have some surprises for you. We actually have questions from people on the interwebs that need answering. The first question, rubber, question mark. Um. Yep, yep, good, yep. Follow-up question from Connor. How do you prevent rubber from irritating your skin? 
for instance, if you have hair or you just have sensitive skin yourself. For me, as you can tell, I'm very, very furry. I'm furry everywhere. To prevent from like irritation, I definitely use some lube. Generally speaking, that definitely works out. Or the shower, I do both, but that helps me from like putting it on the irritation. Adam asks two questions. How long can you wear in one go, meaning rubber, and how long does a suit generally last if you take good care of it? Generally, I wear mine for like eight to 10 hours. Because you're wearing it all day at work. I am wearing it all day at work. Entire day shift. Yeah, how long it lasts. I've had stuff last me for 2012, 2014, 15, 16, like six years, six, seven years. I do know guys wow. so they can last a very long time if you keep, if you take care of them. And I've actually dealt with people that they've had it for a, a few weeks and already they've got a tear yeah. or something on the seam is ripped. And that's generally, not always, but generally because they're not taking good care of their gear. Yay, you're doing a rubber episode. Not a question. Zips, front or back, through your shoulder entry, through the neck, what is the best and some pros and cons? For me, mine is the zipper entrance. I really like the zipper entrance. Okay. But there is the con with that is that it may not necessarily like look all that sure. impressive. So from a from a rubber manufacturing standpoint, yeah. the more zippers that you add or snaps, it's easier to get in or out or access mm -hmm. certain things. Mm -hmm. But um, but it adds of, extra little ripples or maybe just yeah. doesn't fit as nicely because there's more going on. Here's a really good one. So people are always really confused what the difference between latex and rubber is. Is there a difference? Um, they're just synonyms for, okay. in my opinion, they're just synonyms. Like you could use it as rubber and latex. They're, they're both the same word. Okay. Lloyd asks, how do you keep from overheating in your rubber? Water. <laughs> lots of water. water. <laughs> yeah, lots of water, take breaks. Find shade if you're outside. Pup Vidra asks, how soon do I need to clean my gear post wearing? Immediately. No, not immediately. Immediately. <laughs> Generally, I recommend like 24 hours. I will say, side note, I used to live with someone who really loved rubber and it was the middle of the night, I was just getting home from the bar <laughs> and he had this cat suit that was hanging in the shower, like in the bathroom he shared, and I'm, you know, just getting home, washing my face, turning to get, and I just like freak the fuck out because there's this person in my shower. <laughs> ah! You scared the shit. Uh, Puck with no name asks, is rubber for all types of bodies? Knowing that is really tight on the skin, just different body types look different in rubber. So I think everyone looks good in rubber. I think so too. Like embraces their body. It's sometimes the best thing to answer that question is like find the piece of rubber that you feel the most sexy in. That is more important than like body type issue. I always recommend custom. Yeah. Cause you want something like rubber, regardless of your body size, custom is always gonna fit better mm -hmm. and it's always gonna look better. And I think everyone can look sexy in rubber. Yeah. You just gotta make sure that you got the right fit. So. Yeah. No weird bunching, no weird seams, no. like... Or like folds. Well, thank you for answering those questions from our esteemed social medias. But, you guys have an event coming up, and I want to make sure that you plug everything that you're working on. So, what is coming up in San Francisco? Well, here we go. Oh, oh so oh I have something for you. Mm -hmm. It's a gift from the Rubberman to me to you. Oh. So, it's brought down an event from February 9th to 12th. So, a gift... Ooh, ooh. <laughs> so much lube on my hand. <laughs> so this is what uh, is full entail of rub down if you get a VIP package. Uh, meet and greet on February 9th at Mr. S. Leather. It's a bar night after at the powerhouse. A behind the scenes look at what Mr. S. Leather does. February 10th we have a play party at Blow Buddies. Um, so if you want to invite other people. I mean. Then a uh, kink.com tour after it's a bar night at the powerhouse to end the night. February 11th, there's a play party at Blue Buddies. And then uh, February 12th, which is the big event. We're in rubber watching the Grammys and we have Mr. International Rubber coming out. That's great. Yeah. So wow, there is a lot coming up here in February. I'll put links to all the events down below. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Hello. Oh, yes. oh. Oh. Come, come show some love for the rubber community. I do have to ask them, are these real? And who did them for you? Because they're great. Whether you're wearing leather or rubber, always have a safe word. Today's safe word, Brandon, is... Kilimanjaro. Because the first thing I want to do to someone in rubber is mount them. M mount Kilimanjaro. Do you yep. get it? I do. Yes, that's it. We have a crew the <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for coming on. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you, yeah. Rubber Gift. And we hope to see you all rub down. We'll see you guys next time. What's the safe word? Leave comments down below if you have any other questions for these two, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Rubber feels so nice. I, I mean, 
I, I've worn rubber before, I don't own any, but I've worn it before, and it is a very different feeling than leather. It is. Come to the shiny side. <laughs> do they have cookies? We do. Oh, ooh. and milk. 